Farley and this is my fourth instructional video for my math class at Macomb Community College. Today we're going to find if we can apply Al Habatel's rule to this limit. So first, we're just going to plug zero into the function. So limit as x approaches zero to the sine of zero over the cosine of 0 minus 1. So the sine of 0 is 0, and the cosine of 0 is 1 minus 1, so it equals 0 over 0. And you can apply Habitel's rule because the rule states, here I'll just write it out, Habitel's rule is the limit as x approaches c from f of x over g of x is of the indeterminate form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity then you can apply the Habitel's rule and it would be the limit of x approaches c, f of x over g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x. Okay, so we can apply this here. So we're going to take the derivative of the top, which would be cosine of x over the negative sine of x. Okay, And then we're just going to plug 0 into there. So I get cosine of 0 over the negative sine of 0. And that would be 1 over 0. Okay, So this is still undefined. And the thing with El Habitel's rules, you can do it as many times as you want until you get a number. So we can take the derivative again. So the limit as x approaches 0. Okay, and so it would be negative sine of x over negative cosine of x. And we can just plug in the 0 again. It would be negative sine of 0 over negative cosine which equals 0 over negative 1. And so this specific limit, no matter what or how many times we de derive from it, it's going to be undefined. So this is one equation where Al-Habitual's rule cannot apply. That's it.